have a classroom on location in the church and because it's kind of a difficult lighting environment we wanted to ask you what are some of the settings you'd recommend in this type of an environment we're, we were thinking iso dynamic range some people might use the flash some people have a tripod uh, what is it that you recommend i wish i could help you but i'm the plumber i just <laughs> came to unstop a drain <laughs> And I'm Stacy, and, and we're, we're the Fuji Gals. We're here in Nashville, Tennessee with the legendary Bill Fortney, known for his Americana and outdoor photography and his amazing workshops. So speaking of which, we have a classroom on location in the church and because it's kind of a difficult lighting environment, we wanted to ask you what are some of the settings you'd recommend in this type of an environment? We're, we were thinking ISO, dynamic range, some people might use the flash, some people have a tripod. Uh, what is it that you recommend? It's dark in the church, and so we want to use a higher ISO, which the Fuji does great at, and also a dynamic range setting high, like 400 or 200, okay. maybe auto, but there's dark corners, there's areas that are well lit, there's light coming through the windows, and you want as much dynamic range as you can get. And so that'll be one of the, uh, be two of the things that we'll suggest that they do in there. Okay, today. those are great suggestions. Thanks so much. Well, let's go inside and check it out. We are in Nashville, Tennessee at Christ Cathedral Church. Beautiful sanctuary, vaulted ceilings, wonderful stained glass. And we want to make an overall shot with a wide angle lens. And I'm shooting a 16 to 55 at 16, which is a 24 millimeter equivalent. And I've set my ISO at 6400 because it is dark in here. And I've got my dynamic range set to 400 because there's dark areas and light areas. And it's really not hard to shoot in this kind of a situation where you have a camera that calculates out your exposure so carefully. I'm shooting film simulation, so I have a monochrome, I have a Velvia version, and I have the standard or Provia version. And um, I've just made three separate kinds of images with the push of the shutter one time. And as I can see looking at the LCD, which is folds out, which is handy, I can see that the dynamic range is excellent. I've got detail in the highlights and I have detail in the shadows as much as would be expected. So um, let's move over and try another shot from a different place in the church. And I'm going to use the same wide angle lens that I used before, but I'm shooting from a lower angle so that I can have the candles in the foreground and then sweep up and get the stained glass windows. Now it's tricky to do this because you have to get close enough to the candles so that you get them in the foreground, but you don't want to miss the tops of the windows. So I'm gonna do a little adjusting here till I've got what I need in the viewfinder. We're using the same settings that we've used all along. ISO 6400 in this case, and I'm gonna stop the lens down to F16 to get the maximum amount of depth of field. I'm simply gonna release the shutter, get my hands out of the way, let it fire and then I'll check we got it we got good exposure especially the standard Provia when a good color in the stained glass uh, still real good glow coming out of the candles uh, and it worked great so it's not hard when you have the right tools to work with Bill talked about dynamic range adjustment when shooting in the church because of the difficult light Dynamic range allows capture of details normally lost in under or over exposure, especially in the same scene where highlights and shadows are both present. We saw how Bill used bracketing to get three different film simulation settings, but you can also use bracketing to get results for dynamic range settings as well. So access your drive dial and move it to the bracketing function, press the menu OK button, and then just arrow to the right. You can select your bracketing function here I've already got that set to dynamic range bracketing, but I can also just arrow down and set my film simulation bracketing here, just like Bill did. And I just tap on the shutter to take the picture, and there I have three results with one shutter press. Thanks, Thanks for, for tuning in! in.